oh, anyways, I just want you to humor me for a second. Think of someone who can spend hours on the couch or at the computer playing video games, or think of the people that create and develop these games. Now be honest, you pictured a man, right? Well, let me tell you this, women are really coming up in the world of gaming and game development, and they're encouraging all females to join them in the hard working fun. So joining us this morning to discuss this is 3D technical artist Abigail Kwan and developer Dominica Vandenberg. Morning, ladies. How are Morning. you? Good, thank you. The world Good. of gaming, so exciting, but I've got to be honest with you, I often think of it as a male-dominated arena. So, Abigail, mm -hmm. my first question is to you. How prevalent are women in the gaming industry, and how accepting is this industry that is probably male-dominated of women coming into it? Yeah, so there are very few women in the gaming industry at the moment, but I think the world is starting to change and recognize that um, that it is okay to be in this uh, space. Um, some women may find it a bit unwelcoming at times, yeah. but in my experience it has been very good to me. Yeah. Um, it just depends where you are and who you see, who you meet, that kind of thing. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, Dominica, I know that there is a difference between uh, female game developers, but also what's the correlation between female-driven games. What's the situation yeah, there? Yeah, so I think that having women behind the scenes making games yeah. does help with making more diverse games and games that are um, have better characters that are women, like better written. Mm. Um, but I also think it's a little bit more complicated yeah. um, than just having women behind the scenes equals like good games with good female characters yeah. in them. Yeah. I mean, like when Horizon Zero Dawn was pitched to um, um, Sony, Sony was very reluctant when they heard that the protagonist was a woman, oh, wow. and they did a lot of research to really? yeah they did a lot of research to see whether it would be financially successful. And obviously they they did find out that it would be, and the game has been very successful. Yeah. But it's also so it's, it's a lot more complicated than just like women equals good women characters. Yeah, it's also financing and stuff like that oh, that goes okay. into the decision. Why yeah. is it so important to encourage girls, Abigail, to go into this world of gaming? Because I think in our own minds, we first have to change the mindset that it's only for men before we can actually go in there and say, this is what I want to do. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, I think we need to try and encourage them at a young age, especially so that they feel more comfortable in the space. Um, they will find that it can be very creative, mm -hmm. challenging at times, but very rewarding. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely, if you want to do something like that, go for it. I'm, like, had I known that this was an option for me, I promise you, I might have gone into it, but I never, ever knew it. You know, I, I feel, never, I feel ever like there are a lot of girls yeah. out there and women that do regret that it not being yeah. available or not talked about as an option for them. It's I really incredible. think there are quite a lot. Oh, Okay, yeah. so what can the gaming industry do? Because it's all about changing mindsets, it's all mm. about changing perceptions, but what can the gaming industry do, in your opinion, to help open up this community to women a whole lot more? Yeah, Dominica. so, yeah, so a, lot, a lot of companies, um, well, our local industry is doing a lot already. There's a lot of tech and uh, women in tech events that already happen, um, and there's a lot of workshops for girls and women to get them into gaming. Yeah. But I don't know, I think like maybe just the general stuff that applies to STEM fields like engineering and maths and stuff that yeah. are very male dominated. Yeah. Stuff like making your work culture um, more suitable for women or more open, like less masculine. Some of them can be very sort of like, let's go for drinks with the boys type of yeah. uh, environment, very boys clubby. Yeah. So just like, I don't know, making it more welcoming for women just by I culture love that. and stuff. I love that. It's so exciting. And like yeah. I said, had I known it was an option, I mm. probably would have considered going into it. Well, thank you so much, Abigail, Dominica, thank for you. being here with us. And of course, uh, if you are interested in finding more about the world of um, gaming and if you are in Cape Town and you want to hear more about it, then why don't you attend parts three and four of the Talk 100 sessions that's taking place at the Open Design Festival. The world of gaming, the world of women, put mm. them together. Ah, oh, incredible. <laughs>